Hello everyone. Question number 9 of exercise 1.4. Find the greatest and the smallest real number among the following real numbers. Now, we know that the value of under root 2 is 1.414 and the value of under root 3 is 1.73. We can also talk about the approximate value of any under root. So here when we talk about the smallest real number, we know that negative number is always less than the positive number. It is the only number which is negative. Definitely minus of under root 7 is the smallest real number. Now, when we talk about the largest real number, 2 root 3 can be written as 2 into 1.732. 3 upon under root 2 can be written as, where we have to multiply and divide it by root 2 to rationalize the denominator. So, this is 3 root 2 upon 2, which is 3 into 1.414 upon 2. If we solve it, it is approximately 2.1. Here we talk about this, it is approximately 3.4. When we talk about under root of 15, we know that under root of 16 is 4. Because the under root of 16 is 4, definitely the under root of 15 must be very near to it. So this is approximately 3.8. So we can say that the largest value of any real number is under root of 15. And the smallest is minus under root of 7. Again, if we talk in this context, we have to keep one thing in mind that the negative numbers when we talk and the positive numbers when we talk on a number line. So every time the right side height number is always greater than the left hand side number. So 3 is greater than 1, 2 is greater than 1. Same way minus 2 is greater than minus 3. Means if the absolute value is more in the negative term, then the number is less. When we talk about minus 3 root 2, so this can be written as minus 3 into 1.414. When we talk about 9 upon under root 5, so we have to multiply and divide it by root 5 as we have talk then rationalize the denominator it can be written as 9 root 5 upon 5 this is already minus 4 this is 4 root 5 upon 3 and this is 3 root 3 upon 2 now we already know the value of root 2 is 1.414 the value of root 3 is 1.732 the value of under root of 5 is approximately it is 2.2 I am not saying it is the exact value because 1.732 is also not the exact value of under root 3. They have to be taken with approximation. So here it is minus 4.242 as the value for the first term. 9 root 5 upon 5 can be written as 9 into 2.2 upon 5. Here the value will be, com uh, be coming out to be approximately 4.2. Here it is minus 4. Here it is 4 root 5 upon 3. So 4 multiplied by 2.2 upon 3 is definitely less than 4. This number is less than 4. And 3 root 3 upon 2 is again this upon 2, which is again approximately 2.5. So if we talk about the highest number among them, this is the positive number. So this is the largest real number among all of them. When we talk about the smallest real number, then we have to compare the two negative terms. And I already told you that if the absolute value is more, then the number is less. As in this case, if we talk about a number line, so minus 4 will be here and minus 4.242 will be here. And always the right hand side number is greater than the left hand side. So this number is smaller. So when we will talk about minus 3 root 2, this number is the smallest. While 9 upon under root 5 is the largest number. In case of irrational numbers, we have to talk about approximation. Write the following numbers in ascending order. Again, we have to talk about approximation. 4 will is automatically 4. 
when we talk about 3 root 2, it is 3 into 1.414. When we talk about 2 root 3, it is 2 into 1.732. When we talk about under root of 15, this is approximately 3.8. This approximation we have generalized in our chapter on under roots. There is a uh, uh, class on square roots, how to find the approximation in that class. We have already talked about this. If we solve it, is, it is 4.242. This is 3.464. It is already 3.8 and this is 4. When we talk about ascending order, we know the smallest is this, then is this, then this. So in the ascending order, we are writing 2 root 3, the first number, then comes root under root of 15, then comes 4, and then comes 3 root 2. So this way it is in the ascending order. Again, if we talk about ascending order in this context, we can write it as 3.1414. It is root 8 can be written as 2 root 2 because there are two, three twos. Two twos can be taken out, so it is 4 root 2, which can be written as 4 into 1.414. It is 4 automatically. This is 5 under root 2, and which can be written as 5 into 1.414. And this is 4 into 1.73. If we look at the values, definitely 3 root 2 is less than 4 root 2 and 4 root 2 is less than 5 root 2. But this value is the smallest among them because this value 3 into 1.414 is also 4.24. So the, when we are talking about the ascending order, 4 is the smallest one, then comes 3 root 2, then comes 2 root 8, which can be written as 4 root 2. 2 root 8. Now, when we talk about these two, this is approximately 6.9 and this is more than 7. So, definitely this number is greater than this number. So, I am writing 4 root 3 before and under root of 15 after this. There is one more method of solving this kind of question. That is basically when we put all the numbers in under roots and then solve it. If I talk about 3 root 2, I can also write it as under root of 18. How can I write under root of 18? Because this 3 when go inside the under root can be written as 3 into 3. So 3 into 3 multiplied by 2 will be under root of 18. Can you see that how I can write this in under roots? This 2 when go inside becomes 2 into 2. So this can be written as under root of 32. This is 4 which can be written as under root of 16. This is automatically under root of 50. When we talk about 4 under root 3, this 4 can be written as under root of 4 into 4 or under root of 16. 16 multiplied by 3 will be under root of 48. Once I have converted everything into under roots, Definitely, it is a very easy context of telling this is the smallest one and this is the largest one. So, this is the first term, then this number comes, then comes this, then comes this, and this is the highest number or the largest number among them. Same way, we can talk about this question 3 root 2 can be written as under root of 18, 2 root 3 can be written as under root of 12. Under root of 15 is automatically in the root of 15 and 4 can be written as under root of 16. So this way also we can solve the exact values or the uh, format of ascending order. Same is the case with these two questions also. So either we solve it by approximation or we put everything in under roots and then to decide that which number is greater and which number is smaller. Thank you.